welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we will learn about how to use composite curve and create a simple lifted body because in many cases if you have multiple number of curves like uh, let's hide this body see here we create a multi this is the our composite curve we created this composite curve with multiple number of curves see there are multiple number of curve then we will combine all curve together and make one simple curve so this is the main function to use the composite curve tool to combine all the curves in and make one curve which is very helpful during swift to boss base command so let's see how to do in solidworks today we are going to learn here about composite curve how we will use composite curve and why we will use composite curve it is very important function in solidworks so first of all uh, we need to create some geometry and some plane and uh, we will create multiple number of curves and we will combine with the help of composite curve because this is mainly uh, very useful during uh, swift to boss base command so let's see how to do this one let's choose front plane sketch and here draw a geometry horizontal and vertical line uh, let's define this one 10.1 mm 60 point uh, this angle we will make 33 let's make the length 10 mm okay and here choose star point and put one star here it is very useful while we are creating plane that's why we are going to put here star okay let's okay select this line make sure it is horizontal exit now it's time to create some plane so first we need to choose top plane a sketch and here draw a vertical line center line select this end draw a vertical line no need to define any length it's uh, we need it make sure it's vertical exit again define the same top plane a sketch normal select here line select this end and define here also a big line keep both the length different so that we will identify which one is the line exit now see here select view origin so that we will understand where is our actually origin now this one we created now it's time to create plane so let's choose here top plane plane and select the first line see the first line we are going to select let's choose here angle this angle uh, we will choose 29.33 degree 67 degree sorry see it exactly it's uh, opposite to the center line of this plane okay now let's choose again top plane plane and this time choose this bottom line and here define angle 60.33 degree i think it's 60.33 degree see we select here top plane and this line you can see the angle okay you can expand this plane in any direction it's up to you where, where exactly you want and uh, where 
now for the creation of third plane we need to create some geometry now after creating plane 2 we need to create plane 3 but before creating plane 3 we need to create one geometry so choose here plane uh, plane 2 a sketch line draw here convert it into arc make sure it, it should be inside uh, okay exactly exit better click normal vertical that's it let's define this one 5.05 millimeter and keep the radius also same 5.05 millimeter now simply exit now it's time to define some plane okay now we need to create third plane so do one thing we need to go to sketch one edit sketch select here a star point and put one star here in between see this is the center point exit because this is also we need it now choose your plane select this end point this end point and this point now see how is our plane is going to be create here this is the plane number third okay now select the plane number third a sketch select here choose line draw from here draw up to convert it into arc and connect with this point exit make sure both the points tangent and this point and this point horizontal this point this point vertical uh, if this kind of things came that means the geometry is over defined we don't need over defined define geometry just press and do let's define this keep radius 5.05 .05 millimeter and select this line 10 millimeter this is what our requirement now simply exit now see for our composite curve we are uh, close to one geometry now our curve is start from here this one this one this one now still some more balances are here now here we need to create our next geometry choose top plane a sketch select here we will use this one center point arc we want to connect from here to here so we need to find the midpoint from this point to this point exit now if you will see in 3d view see how we created a half circle it is fully defined because it is fixed 5.05 millimeter okay this is the our third curve now it's time to come choose plane 1 a sketch normal now 
we will connect this plane select here line connect it convert it into arc and connect with this point exit now select these two points tangent relation A smart dimension 5.05 millimeter radius and let's define the length 10 millimeter exit now do one thing just hide all the planes and hide our first sketch see this is the what we we want to create a kind of knot now here you can see all the things are separated if you are going to use Swift to boss base command choose circular 5 millimeter you can't choose two lines at a time even by clear selection manager here also we don't have any other option select this one this one let's choose all what we will choose this is open line so let's choose open but it is not suitable so in that case we need to use composite curve go to curves choose here composite curve now select all the curves one two three and the last one four they will going to combine all the curve and make one curve see now this is the one curve now we have two ways to create looped boss base body so do one thing uh, we will choose traditional way plane select this line and select this point okay select this plane sketch choose circle let's draw a circle here smart dimension 5.05 millimeter or keep 5 millimeter that's it okay now select this center point of circle and this arc pierce see it's pierce exit now we can use our traditional way feature sweep to boss base and here we will select directly this composite curve see it automatically covers all the lines because it is composite curve okay you can hide this curve even you, let's hide this i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks let's hide this all appearance plastic polished abs so this is the simple tutorial for composite curve how to use composite curve and why to use composite curve i hope you enjoyed don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching